Uh, and, and I think one of the biggest things that Andrew Holness is not doing that he needs to be doing, like, admit that you made a mistake. You went to a place where ain't that much going on there. Back out and redirect the resources to somewhere where things really are happening. Come to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. It's your host with the most. It's your host with the most. Watch this. We're not going to talk about where it's going, but we're not going to talk about that for now. Right now, I'm going to talk about, though, Zoso, Zones of Special Operations in Jamaica, starting out on the wrong foot. Not only starting out on the wrong foot, looking like a failure, because Andrew Holness, the right honorable Andrew Holness, the Prime Minister, does not want to change course. One of the biggest things of a man, the strongest character of a man, our woman, is when you're able to admit that you made a mistake, right? Say fierce, take it, and make changes immediately to fix the mistake that you have made. Now, we all know, I'm reading this headline and the headline says, Shutters flee Mount Salem to West Milan. I'm saying to myself, how did y'all know that the shutters flee from Mount Salem, Ghana, West Milan? So you know where they went, right? That means you know who the shutters are then. Where else have rent? Come in that video, man. The headline said the shutters them flee Mount Salem, gone to West Milan. I'm saying, right? This video where I said, all right, so Brent's just step in. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, let me see a headline where I say, Shatters flee Mount Salem. I'm saying Zoso started off to a bad start, right? Yeah. The, yeah. Can we just read the next headline where it says, Spanish Town, five people get shot in a one go. And you know, Spanish Town is one of them places that's been on the list. Mm -hmm. Nothing ain't happening in Mount Salem, but yeah. he's sticking to it. Then the headline, they're saying uh, Shatters flee to Mount Salem, from Mount Salem to West Milan. And I'm saying to myself, where's where just said? How do they know they're fleeing to West Milan? So, if the media have this much knowledge as to where they're fleeing, then the Joint Special Forces should have some information. They must have intel as to why they are saying they, they flee to West Milan. So, if the media have that information, I feel like they are supposed to have that information also, or likely that they have that information. Yeah. So, if you're most of them gone to West Milan, why not move the Zone of Special Operations to West Milan? And that's what I was going to say. If you're not say West Milan, them gone, stop the long talking and go to West Milan for them. Mm -hmm. not and when you're doing it, Please don't go tell the whole wild world and the media. We are now going we are to West Milan. We are now going to West Milan. It's counterproductive. Seriously. Seriously. I'm looking at this video here. This video just hit 100,000, right? 100,000 views on YouTube. So I'm look on the video where I did it, what, two, it says two months ago. Jamaican gunmen better start running. This was when they were talking about the implementing Zoso. Mm -hmm. Zone of Special Operations. For those of you who don't know what Zoso means, catch them up to speed quickly. Zone of Special Operations. Basically. It means that the Jamaican government were going to put in plan a place, put in place a plan where they would direct resources, police, soldier, to areas that are most troubled, the or, highest murder rate or crimes happening. With crime and violence. Right, and this is when they first came up with or let the public know that this was coming. Them, this, these are the politicians, they got on, they got in front of a microphone, put on them nice suits, and they went out there and said a whole bunch of stuff. And I said it in this video. I'm gonna tag this video, now 100,000 views, to this video right here at the end of it. Hit that and watch everything that I said in this video. It's exactly what is happening now. Yeah. One big bug of long talking and that's it. And they're like, no one's held accountable for this. Yeah. Like, what, how hard is it for Andrew Holness to say, Raw, I know that's right there. Mm -hmm. We know where it's at. Send them there. Okay. Yeah. 
And the thing is, if the people of Mount Salem didn't actually come out and say, what why, are here? why are you guys here? We only have 14 murder in the span of a whole year. That was last year they were talking about. And places about. have a hundred and something and you not there. Yeah. Why didn't you go to Flanka? Why didn't you go to somewhere else in Montego Bay that's riddled with crime and vice violence where you're always taking scammers out those areas? I want to show you how easily our people are bought and sold though. When election time come, right? The same people that cost the politician them, all the politician them do is go buy a couple head of goat, kill the goat, buy some rice and we have white rice and curry goat and a beer, eat up and drink up. And dance and party. And dance and party and then left them. Yeah man, I'm my party that my white right. people that it's the same thing they used on them with that, with the zone of special operation thing. When the when the residents came out and said Ain't shit going on here. Why, why are you guys here? Got dung this or dung this or them that. You know what they did? We're starting a um a, a free giveaway for oh, this yeah, and yeah. A, that for the kids. A fund for um, to send kids to something and something and everybody say yeah, make them stay. They're doing good in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. That's diverting away from the original intent. That's not what they went there to do. They never got to set up no kind of program for picnic or nothing. Yeah. We're not going to forget our crime and violence and the mad bad people them that was doing it. That's the bottom line of it. That's what Zoso is about. But they easily bought the people them. Kill two goats and curry them and two bag of rice and everybody happy again. Mm -hmm. And your, your, your son and your daughter two books. Two school bag and one school bag and two book. Uh -huh. And two pencil. I uh, said so we're gonna straighten out these kids, all these kids with these tight pants and their pants sagging off. When we see them, we're gonna reprimand them and tell them to pull up their pants and, and call your parents and tuck in your shirt and all that. And take on them for cell phone and tell them call them parents. Yeah. I wanna talk to your parents right away. Mm -hmm. And that's what they do to actually buy Jamaican influence in the community that they are in right now. While the original intent of the mission is still friggin' nothing on one. Yeah. They said they found one gun, and then I heard uh, there was another headline that said they found seven guns today, actually. Um, but that's very hard for me to believe. And they didn't find the seven guns in Mount Salem. They found the seven guns somewhere else in Montego Bay. So basically they're putting out stuff in the media to, for people to get quiet about it. Okay, they found seven guns. That means that they're actually doing something to play on your minds, to play on media, to make sure, like, to quiet the critics down basically that's how they do and that's how they get Jamaican people all the time yeah but easily bought we're too easily bought and sold I'm saying that all the time yeah so on this video Jamaican gunmen better start running where they were like huh when we implement this zone of special operations some Jamaican gunmen better start running as far as I see none of gunmen them not run go nowhere they still doing what it is they've been doing. The murder rate has not decreased. People still are get slapped with at the same rate. Matter of fact, that's why I just said five shot, one fatally injured in Spanish town recently. That are in a one go. And the day before that, they had like a, what, a triple murder in was it Morant Bay or one of them other place that. So it's not. It's, there is no ending side to it. There isn't even a calming down inside to it. Yeah. So on the zone of special operations is a failure. Yeah. It's not working. It's not friggin' working. And all the Prime Minister has to do is to go back to the drawing board real quick and relaunch. That's yeah. it. Sometimes as a man, as a big woman, or a big man, you gotta say, okay, this ain't working. I was wrong. Let's go with this plan instead. Mm -hmm. But no, he's going down with the sinking ship. Mm -hmm. He's going down with the sinking ship. Somebody made a comment on here that says, them understand everything when me I talk about, you lost me when you started talking about policeman and bad man team up policeman and gunman team up. You must not be from Jamaica or any part of the Caribbean or any so-called third world place because mm -hmm. it's the same every friggin' which way. Yeah. And this is a well-known problem in Jamaica. That's why them have Indicom and other kind of other entities to, to investigate our law enforcement officers because I've said this before, you have good police out there that genuinely join the force, wake up every day and say, yo, this is what I want to do. I want to make a difference in my community, in my country, protect the place, protect my people, make my country great again, right? 
majority of them, um, I'm not going to say majority. There are a lot of corrupted police officers in Jamaica. And this, and enough of them were a police officer, a bad man. Mm -hmm. And they also have bad man in their pocket. So, I mean, okay. say, they were a police officer and them cousin over here, so a bad man with a slap off everywhere, body in the community. All right. Or they know of the gunman were in the community and the gunman say, yo, if they you say no on board right. me, straight gunshot. Gunshot so, to you, your sister, the whole of them. Check this. When you come round and you turn your head that we are dead. Okay, you know, say you nothing know. we are going over here, so. See? Exactly. And you know what the police them saying this will make them dirty. Alright, dog, well, since you have a deal with me, so then here what? Give me a little thing. Mm -hmm. Give me a little thing now. And I don't nothing for you, bad man. Here, man, hold this. Go so. Or some of them just get plain bad up. Mm -hmm. Yo, man, you dumb blood clot look over here, so. Turn your head that way there. Mm -hmm. Straight like that. They forget. People are forgetting that these police officers are just humans and, and they have to go back to the community. Them have them wife, them picnic, them husband, if them a woman or have man, them have them picnic, them mother, father in a community. And then you're dealing with merciless killers. People will run up in their house and give to your baby will lay down in the bed. You understand? So you think a police officer will have to think about that? There's no one guarding his house mm. when he gets off duty and take off that uniform. Yeah. In paranoid all friggin' night. So I'm better be in a bad man pocket. You did? Mm -hmm. And who can't see that? You blind. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how it confuses you when I say stuff like that. Everybody know what I'm going when it comes to that. This video is to talk about Zoso being a failure so far. And it is being a failure so far. Now people are saying, so Flo, you know I said, people pay attention to you know what I said. And, and you guys are reaching cross waters and whatever. But don't start patting yourself on the back and giving yourself credit yet for what Andrew Holness, I think really it was us saying stuff constantly yeah. that they jumped into action and my biggest worry is played out right now. Mm -hmm. They jumped into action, they came in full force with nothing. Yeah. With nothing. Yeah. Just to make people say, okay, see ya, you might do something now. Mm -hmm. And then what? And what? The most volatile areas are still unpoliced, unmanned. As far as law enforcement goes, they're not there in droves. And whatever illegal activities were going on there before are still going on there at the rate they were going on there before, just the same. They didn't scare anybody. All they did was bring an uproar and bring more attention to what they're doing so people can actually hide now or not hide if they don't want to hide. That's how I'm going to end this video. That's how I'm going to end this video. So it went from Jamaican gunmen better start running. See that? <laughs> See that? That video now has over 100,000 views on it. Uh, two months ago we put this up. Jamaican gunmen better start running. What you just say? You just said they didn't scare anyone. Mm -hmm. All right. It's Soflo TV man here with Brains and the Beat with us a vibe we don't know, right? Leave your comment in the comment section below. Tell us what you think about the whole Zoso thing. If you don't know about it, go educate yourself about it. Watch this video. It'll give you a little insight or read up a little bit about it before you make your comments in the comment section below. Alright? We up out of here. Deuces. Peace.